the other guy, linebacker defensively as they turn over that side of the ball. A guy that uh, can put pressure on the quarterback as well, 87 tackles. Well, he's a big inside linebacker, kind of the, the, the leader of their defense and, and, and makes a lot of plays there in the middle. And uh, you can see him running to the football here, so he's got good speed also. Stops up the middle, here he is tackling one-on-one -on -one here. Yeah, he does, and he, like I said, he's the leader of their defense, and he makes a lot of big plays for him. Calvin Thompson. The call, and the running back this time gets hammered behind the line of scrimmage and buried. Marshall Falk never got out of the gate. Taking what the defense is giving him this early. Nyberg to the near side. Patrick Rowe to the near side. T.C. Wright remains the lone running back. Ray Rowe is a H-back to the left. On a second down, the pitch, T.C. Wright sweeps left, cuts back inside, gets hammered, gets hammered. Head-high tackle. Boy, he got belted as he tried to cut it back in. Backer really popped him, but hit him really high. He's from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Chris Sangaris, J.C. transfer from Hancock Junior College. Happened to bring him down. Second down and 11 for San Diego State. Marshall Falk, the freshman, is in it running back from the 40. Free Morris to throw, dumps it out, caught by Patrick Rowe at the 45, breaks the tackle, keeps going all the way out to the 50. I think he got the first down. Patrick Rowe and another penalty against Long Beach State. Hard line, and then it was a big pile up as St. Garris closed in on him quickly and really racked him at the 50 yard line. There were three long eight out of bounds, and St. Garris came in late and was third man on the pile. Penalties of being all American. First down and 25, and the ball is back at the 36-yard line. Three wide receivers, draw play, Falk bounces off one guy, doesn't bounce off the second, and he stopped in his tracks. He got it out to the 36-yard line. Sengaris in to make the tackle for Long Beach State, along with Torin Johnson. So Marshall Falk, the freshman out of Louisiana, meets the senior, Chris Sengaris. And St. Garris is playing some good football tonight. He is all over the field. Oh, he really is. And the Aztec coaching staff really likes Marshall Falk. Now, the first three times he's touched the ball haven't been uh, ones he'll remember. But you're going to read a lot and hear a lot about Marshall Falk in the coming years. Welcome to the real world tonight. He threw it off. He trailed 7-6 with just over four minutes to go till half done. T.C. Wright comes in motion right. Everybody into the pattern. Morris to drop. Hit. Throws. The ball's knocked loose. It's a hot football. I think they're going to go. 7-6 on a Todd Studer touchdown pass. Andy Trackus has booted a couple of field goals. All the scoring was done in a seven-minute span in the first quarter. T.C. Wright, the lone back. Three wide outs for the Aztecs on a second down and five. Morris, long count at the line of scrimmage, gives it T.C. Wright, sweep left, gets one block, cuts inside, and then gets cut down. Way out to about the 48-yard line, getting off the bottom of the pile. But Chris Sangaris has been everywhere tonight, hasn't he? He's been very impressive. He really has. That time the Aztecs ran right over Reed. That time he took the underneath person in Ray Rowe. I think Long Beach State's offense has had the ball for two plays this third quarter. Fumbling an interception. You got it. Ten minutes to go, third period. Aztecs lead 36 to 7. Mm. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. Everybody into the pattern. Cremara slant pattern, tipped and almost intercepted by Long Beach State's inside linebacker. Chris Sangaris, who's had a very active night, stepped in that line of fire and almost came up with it. 6'2", 240-pound senior out of Montreal, Quebec. Played J.C. ball at Hancock Junior College. An old football axiom making an impact here at San Diego State. First down and 10. The ball is in at the 15-yard line. Cree Morris with one running back. It's Marshall Fall. He gives it. Lowry gives it. Running back. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. Fights his way into the 45-yard line. They're going to call it a loss of three. Let's go back to five and, a half minutes, five and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Well, the time of possession in this quarter has got to be ridiculous. Lopsided. Say, Chris Sangaris is one reason the Aztecs have not run well in between the tackles. Seems like he's been everywhere at all times. Second down and about eight. The ball is in at the four five points in their four losses this season. This is fourth and inches. And Derek Scott trying to extend, fumbles the football. It won't matter much there because he did not get into the end zone. Middle linebacker Chris Sangaris, who not only leads the 49ers in tackles with 54, but he leads the entire Big West Conference. Scott 
Hands it off to Henry Bailey, who fumbles the football. Rugby State had a shot at it. But they may have forces it back inside, forces Bailey to go back inside. Now watch 47, continues to hustle, sees it. And Tangaris with the pop that yeah. caused the fumble. He strips it, and 47, there's one shot, 40. Third and 10, he's going to be way short of the first down. Tangaris was chasing him from behind. And Bingo Williams. The throw right at the legs right there. Just hits him right in that left knee and drops him. And then look at that pop by Bingo Williams. Term bingo, he got a bingo. And Ken Garris, the initial hit, 6'2", 240-pounder. Still has plenty of time to call Clyde Clark in the team. He pinches it for Henry Bailey. And he will get a couple before going out of bounds. Ken Garris was getting over there and closing it down. Fine job, because when... Henry Bailey turned the corner. It was a lot more yardage than that to be made. Too, but again, watch Black right here. There's the offside coming on the right side of the screen. Ken Garris is in. Sport University of Miami Hurricane Football. An ice game features the Long Beach State 49ers against the Open Off Money Zone. Here's Martin Patton sweeping left. And coughs up the football. As they unpile, it is number 17, the tight end from Tampa, Coleman Bell. That yeah, takes a load off the mind of Patton. Been a little sloppy. Well, the line play has been good for Miami today, but Patton, helmet right on the ball by the middle linebacker, St. Garrett. Charge it loose. Hurricane's awfully lucky. High snap. Joe Moore going to run with it. And he is brought down at the 20-yard line by number 49, Chris Sangaris. And for Miami, second down and seven for the Hurricanes. Here comes Stephen McGuire, and he is tripped up nicely by number 49, Chris Sangaris, the middle linebacker who keeps against Fresno State a career-high 22 stops a few weeks back against San Jose State. But he's a tough customer. Makes a lot of hits, that Mike linebacker. That time he ran through the gap. Two stops a few weeks ago. Quebec, a two-year starter, and a guy that's come up with some big games. He had 20 tackles last week against Fresno State, a career-high 22 stops a few weeks back against San Jose State. But he's a tough customer. Makes a lot of hits, that Mike linebacker. That time he ran through the gap.
Thank you.